May the 8th, 2021. Guys, a quick update. We've had the strongest solar flare so far of this uh, sun cycle 25. We're looking at Earth-facing images from the Lasco uh, C3 and C2 cameras. Check that out. It was a very fast burst. I'm going to slow it down and pause it as it comes back around. But scientists have been watching this sunspot come around the back side of the Earth, and it's been throwing out some flares and a few CMEs. This flare was strong just under an X flare, an M4, 3.7, almost a 4. There's where it's paused. It happened really fast. Now, the coronal mass ejection is blowing off to the left side, and it's not going to be Earth affecting, just missing us. We'll look at the CME tracker there. But uh, we're getting into a more active time with uh, solar cycle 25 starting to climb towards its peak in the next few years. We're going to have to pay attention to it. Again, same satellite, different camera, much wider lens called LASCO C3. There's your explosion on the 6th. This was starting to come around to the Earth-facing side. And there's what's happened. A pretty large coronal mass ejection from this thing. Again, it's going to... Um, Mercury will have uh, a direct hit. The Earth may get a glancing blow. This is your X-ray flux chart. Notice... In 1904 Universal Time, yesterday on the 7th, this peak, it was just under an X flare. So that's telling us that we are definitely picking up uh, into this solar cycle. Here's a still image. SDO is down for maintenance right now, but we do have some still images. And it is a rather large sunspot area you can see on the left. It will be turning Earth-facing and be Earth-facing for about the next two weeks. You can tell the sun, uh, the size of the sunspot on this particular SDO image. It, it's going to be easy to watch, especially once they get the SDO back up. Here's the coronal mass ejection. Earth is in the yellow dot to the right. The sun is in the center. The Earth is here. And you can see where it blew out. It blew out across Mercury and Stereo A satellite. Should get, be getting good images of this. But uh, the Earth is in the yellow dot, so you can see just missing us there. But as the sunspot turns and it's rotating this way, uh, that any further explosions, solar flares, or coronal mass ejections will definitely be Earth facing. Now, this sunspot, AR2822, exploded on May 7th, producing the M39 class solar flare. One of the strongest flares of young solar cycle 25, the SDO Observatory recorded the explosion near the sun's northeastern limb. Now, this shadow that you see going through it is called a solar tsunami, and uh, it's, it's a swell of hot magmatized plasma about 100,000 kilometers long. It's racing across the sun's surface at 250 kilometers per second, or 560,000 miles an hour. A pulse of ultraviolet violent, and X radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere. That's that initial blast. The CME travels slower. And uh, it says the then in turn caused a short wave radio blackout over North America. Ham radio operators and mariners have may have noticed strange propagation effects at frequencies below thirty megahertz, with some transmissions below fifteen megahertz completely extinguished. The sun controls a lot on this planet. And this sunspot it's definitely one to pay attention. As again, short video, I'm working on an update on this Chinese rocket that's falling, and I will get the information up soon. We're watching this. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.